There's a new statue coming to Centennial Mall here in Lincoln, and Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Abigail Wood has more on that story. Abigail? Well, it's going to be a sculpture of Standing Bear. Today, we got an inside look at how the clay model is coming along. In his eyes, I see determination and courage and also compassion, which is you know, a very complex thing to work with as an artist. Sculptor Ben Victor says he feels a special connection to the subject of his most recent project. He was commissioned to create an 11-foot bronze sculpture of Standing Bear, a Nebraska Ponca chief who successfully argued in the 1800s for the personhood and equality of Native Americans. That moment when he reaches out his hand and says that our hands are a different color, our skin's a different color, but if you pierce it, we bleed the same color. You know, that statement that is so powerful is going to be a part of this permanent monument. The statue will be put in at Centennial Mall this fall, just in time for the state sesquicentennial. The connection to Centennial Mall and the history and the history of the state is absolutely fabulous. Victor is an artist in residence at the University of Boise, Idaho. He brought the clay model he's going to use to cast the bronze sculpture to Lincoln so the city can come watch him work. He gathered inspiration from pictures of the chief himself, as well as other details from that time period. These are actual beads that we press in one by one. He says Standing Bear's passion for freedom and human rights plays an integral role not just in Nebraska's history, but in the nation as well. Just to think of that starting point that Standing Bear made for all human rights in this country. The idea for the statue has been years in the making. It's funded by Don Campbell, a local philanthropist, and coordinated by the Nebraska Commission on Indian Affairs. And Victor will be down at the Jane Snyder Trail Center until April 4th between the hours of 1 and 4 every day if you want to watch him work up close. That is uh, very impressive. Abigail Wood, thank you for bringing us that story.